And welcome back to map two for this historical rules event on this fine Sunday. I hope it's fine for y'all. It is a Colquist defense. This is server two. Current server pop is 184, 92 on the defending CSA versus 92 on the attacking Union. And we have on the CSA RD team, we have Captain Potato from the 13th Georgia with one crew. And then we've got Mr. Thomas from the JB with another crew. Let's take a look at the CSA infantry team. They have the HL under Thane Hood. You've got Rolo leading the 13th Georgia. You've got A and V led by Captain Gamebot, at least the 6AL portion, and then the other portion is led by Colonel Killer. Let's see, and then on the Union already side, looks like we've got LFL under Sergeant Crom. Gun. Possibly two guns, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Infantry side, we've got two corps, specifically 6LA, led by Zio Panama. We've got Colonel Knight leading the 10th Tennessee. Uh, Colonel Famas leading the LFL. 20th Georgia, led by Canada. And then we've got Adjutant Demons leading the 5th Corps. Now, we are live at 40, but there is no sprinting, and there is no bayonets until the 30-minute mark. The point is right there. CSA spawn is at the top of the hill. CSA already position. Union already position. And Union main. Now, this game is called War of Rights. It is available for $30 on Steam as we go live. It is a first-person shooter, so every one of these individuals is an individual player. Now, this event is called the Historical Rules Event. It happens every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. If you have a unit that's interested in joining it, there is a link in the description to the Discord for the organization of the event. Now, if you are a player looking for a unit, I have left in the description um, links to these individual units' Discord, so take a look at them and see if you know they look like they're about your speed. Join up. Like a nice line. And as always, um, my own personal grift, uh, if you are enjoying this video, I pl uh, please hit the subscribe button down below at the right corner of the screen, as well as a like, uh, comment, share, all that good stuff. Help the channel grow, right, yeah, rubble, rubble wall. and hopefully get more people interested in the game, and the events, and the units, and in the words of Mr. Jehovah, another streamer, covers this event far better than I do, we all grow together. Got some Artie going off as the Union is making a move. The Artie is trying to hit him a little bit. Now this unit here is the 13th Georgia, led by Captain Rolo here. Now they are another veteran unit. I uh, see in multiple events, including this HRE event. Um, as well as, I want to say EU, UEC on Saturday. I've seen them in quite often. Um, they've been around for quite some time. They have very good relations with other units. Rolo has helped out repeatedly, for example, in the UEC HRE reenactment events. Really good dude. Um, wow, also, Carlton was leading the other map. Uh, they do have an ordnance battery under Perkington. He is an excellent commander and has an excellent um, feel for the role of artillery and how to maximize its effect here. So, they are a highly competent unit. Um, I highly recommend if you are interested in either arty or infantry, uh, those time slots for those events, I'd recommend checking them out. Now, right now, I will say staying here, he's doing a good delay, but I wouldn't stay here for too long because the Union is going to mass up fire here pretty soon. And the Union is massing on this right side and is making a move. 13 Georgia, though has done a good job of delaying them. And you see now they're falling back. They did a great job of stacking them up a little bit for reinforcements to come up in the form of the A and V, 6 Alabama, while the Artie is also peppering them. And I move away every time this is shot. Um, we also have a flank attack developing here by, who is this, Colonel Killer in the A and V. Oh, fuck these motherfuckers! 
A nice flank attack here by A and V. I really approve of this strategy right now, what the CSA is doing and kind of stuff them through. The only thing they got to worry about is getting caught out and taking too many casualties. That is the big danger. But right now, they can kind of keep them in this open ground here. They will be in trouble. But the Union appears to be aware of this, and they are going to try to maneuver up and out of this problem before they get massacred by this artillery, like that guy was carrying that poor flag. Great gunnery by the, the CSA gunners here. Oh, don't retreat. Don't sprint. There's no don't point in retreating. Sprint. Oh, no, no, no. If you do this, the flag, maybe, the rest of you, I would just carry it forward. <laughs> maybe try to get the flag out. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Um, you see uh, A and V, though, has had to fall back. They caught, they caught a little bit too much fire. Um, but as we can see, they have eaten up a good amount of time, and the Union has not really taken any key ground here. Now, here is another unit that I like quite a bit here, and that's, you know, I am a little bit biased, but... Um, Ahead, well, let's aim. watch Tennessee first. Tennessee. Tennessee. That's what those volley calls I was talking about earlier. Now here comes Canada from the 20th Georgia. They are another unit that I uh, highly recommend you check out if you're looking for a new unit. Um, they are... So Canada and... Where is he? Jumbo are the guys that usually lead them that I usually see here. They are a very solid unit. They play in a number of events, um, both NA and EU time. Um, from my observation of them, they're pretty chill. Um, you know, I don't see too much anger and backbiting. You know, it seems like a very disciplined but very chill unit. Um, but very competent. And as you can see, they like to get into the fight. Um, but they also don't just charge wildly, so they are a very disciplined unit. And they are a pleasure to watch, so that's why they're one of my favorite units, to be honest with you. A little bit of favoritism there, but, you know, I like all the units. But I like 20 George quite a bit. Now, I will say he is a little bit isolated up here, and that might become a problem for him. And he is, in fact, going to have to pull back a little bit here after getting caught out. As we can see here, the CSA is... I got it! I got it! I really like the way the CSA is shaping this battlefield right now. So the Union had made that initial push up here, but as you can see, that attack has completely, you know, fallen by the wayside. The Union has now retreated into the woods over here, which is usually where I see the Union try to do the attack, but the CSA is not defending it. Instead, they are relying on holding this hill and this high ground up here and relying on the Artie. Um, we're at 33-30. They haven't lost too much. They are ahead on tickets, though, right now, so great job by the CSA team. And I think part of that is knowing when to get out of Dodge. As you can see, Killer has seen that he is now has to move out as this force is starting to mass up once more. The problem is he might run into that force by the woods. We'll see. Let's get over there and see if he's getting ambushed. Now, again, there's no bayonets, no sprinting, so it's hard to do yeah, yeah. big move, you know, quick movements. Get cover and return fire, lads. Get shots out. That's very close to us. Don't worry, guys, I'll cast a spell! The enemies are in front of us. Keep it on the ground. And I can't shoot. Pick your head up. Nice shot. Fuck you. I already dropped my nice thing. Behind the line. Behind the line. How's it going? Definitely a predicament. Behind the line. Move it, move it. Everyone, reform that line behind the line. Move it behind. No. Tennessee, direct straight ahead. I want you boys to take aim direct straight ahead. Find you a target. Take it. Right behind the rock. Find your target. Tennessee, cut the grass. Fire! They shifted left, they're moving left. Aim. Alright, 13, get ready, get ready. Alright, 13, look down the 
road. Let's hit those guys there. So take aim. Fire. So we got some counter battery going on. Uh, Roll. You want them at one man spacing? Back. Let's take a look at the yard. See, we can see what they're shooting at up here. Check out the good old JB. What is Corporal Tomas thinking of hitting? Well, it looks like the A and V had to pull off of that position, and they're gonna have to get some support over there. Looks like they're gonna get some, but uh, let's see, CSA is still doing a decent job on pickets at the moment. Not sure what they're shooting at yet? I'll check back with them in a bit if I can identify the target. Eagle looks like he's going to try to do some counter battery. Knocked him down, but he didn't kill him. It's tough to flip that cannon. This is interesting here. So we've got a maneuver forward by 13th Georgia here. Roll is going to try to get behind LFL here as they are fighting the HL, Hampton's Legion, over here. And Rolo is going to. Try to attack now the bayonets on Hi, buddy. the Hi, LFL buddy. here. And they have succeeded in knocking down the flag here. And good move here by Thane Hood here. He has seen that his buddies have gone in for the attack and he is moving down to support them. So great cooperation here by the HL and 13th Georgia here. And HL will finish the job that 13th started here and chase off the LFL. The LFL are going to get their flag out at least, though, so that is a very good thing. Let's see what else we got here. Now, we're starting to see more fighting on top of the woods here. Uh, but again, the CSA is still at about half the way battle-ready. Union's slightly behind them. But the Union's going to have to start making some moves here. I believe they're going to have to start capping. Might have to be the next strategy. Try to draw out the game a little bit. No, we didn't. Just decided to stop in the middle of things for no reason. Here comes an attack by A and V against a mixed unit here. Looks like mostly 20th Georgia. Got your flag. And a good attack by the A and V. Oh, but look at this reaction here by Mr. Knight here. He saw his friends were in danger. He wasn't able to save them, but he was able to stabilize the situation and chase them off. Oh, but 5th Corps is now getting chased off by Killer. But they're going to charge into some friendlies down here with 2 Corps. Maybe try to uh, beat up. No, no we do not. No we do not. No we do not. We keep fucking chasing. We keep chasing. You heard Killer, you, you never stop chasing the drinks, man. You might think you're okay drinking the vodka straight, but he says no, you need to continue chasing. Get him! Hey, you! Hey, you! We got him sandwich, we sandwiched. Oh, nice, nice. Get the flag! Get the flag down. Get the flag down. And the Union was able to get the better of that attack, although we'll see. We still got one element up here. But despite all that, we can see that the uh, Union, well, the Union now with that attack has gotten the CSA, A, knocked down their flag, which is huge, and B, oh, looks like an already shot over there. I uh, didn't quite catch it in time. Yeah, knocking down that flag is big, and they've also um, evened out the pickets quite a bit. But as you can see, LFL has reconstituted. They reconstitute very quickly now with a new flag stat. Five seconds. 
So if you don't finish a unit, you're going to have to deal with it again in about two minutes, at best. That's how much time you bought yourself if you don't knock out a flag. Kota, how do you know it takes about two minutes? Well, if I look at how many men are in LFL's company right now, they have 26 soldiers here. So assuming a flag with two other people, or we'll say four or five other people, and they can, you know, spawn in at the normal rates, how quickly do they get to 24? Well, it's six every 30 seconds. Six times four, 24. Mass! What the fuck do I know now? That has no meaning in war. Certainly not in a video game based on numbers. Here comes an attack by 6 Alabama. Pretty good attack coming down. And they are going to swing into 5th Corps. So last time the Union got the better of this, we'll see if the CSA can even it out this time. So far, a pretty good hold here by 5th Corps. We'll see now that game body's getting in there. CSA is now hit engaged at 25 minutes. They gotta knock out this flag, that's the key. Come here, boy! Yep, they got him. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Screaming, you still got killed by a bat, though, you dickhead. Hey, right, come on, keep going, boys. Keep going. Oh, where are you going, flag? Where are you going? CSA flag. I think our boys died before we got there. So that time, the CSA was able to win that attack, although uh, the Union is ahead on tickets. But uh, right now on the team side, the Union is a bit of a pickle here. By, uh, somehow, I don't know where Tent go. is, but we Tent died. Numbers. Tent got wiped up there. Okay, okay. We were well, yeah, we're going to so start, start going for point. We're going to push them at point. And we're gonna there we go. Both are at uh, engage now. Missed that already shot. Zoom back out here and see where we are on the state of the battlefield. So we've got... Oh, we do have a push up here. Let's go watch that here before we do a review. Now LFL is pushing up against 13th Georgia up here. 13th, rise, rise, rise. Let's see if Roll can hold him. Shoot him down, shoot him down, 13th. Now that is a, a, a worthwhile discussion point. So Rollo gave him not a volley command, but an independent command. I think that's the right decision because at that range you want to maximize your shots. So, you know, it's tempting to do a volley at close range, but really, especially with moving targets like like that, independent fire I think is the superior option. And as we see here, and that was the right call to hold, I believe. Independent fire, guys. As you can see. How many guys are still back there? By the time you cross that distance, remember the flag. Six men every 30 seconds if they're in line, which they will be. So a great hold there by 13th Georgia against the charge by LFL. and shows the value of the uh, close-range um, independent fire in that circumstance. Now, I'm not one of those guys that says independent fire always, but in that situation, I think Rollo made the absolute right call there, and you can see the effects of it. And the Union has decided to cap, so now we'll, uh, well, as I zoom out, you see them getting hit. I already, nice, already shot. So, you see much of the Union already is now returning in from their main. You do have LFL as a threat over here. You've got 13th Georgia kind of guarding the Artie, and the rest of the CSA is in the woods here. And you've got 20th that is on point by itself. So that is the current circumstance as the Union has gone in from the cap. I absolutely agree with the cap. So on the time, there's literally no cost to it right now. Um, no reason not to do it. In fact, I think, you know, you want to, you know, the old adage of you want to wait until they're breaking to be into the cap is, you know, makes some sense, but on this uh, map in this 
this circumstance, I think it uh, made perfect sense to do what uh, Canada did there. Draw out the time. Yeah, and really, really by drawing out the time, what you're doing is you're allowing your reinforcements to come back in and drawing some of the CSA forces into a position where they can be better killed. Or another option is you can mass here and then go up and knock out the Artie. So that action by 20th has created a number of opportunities. Although they got to get out of there or they're about to get swallowed up by probably Killer. Is this Killer? A and B knows. So it looks like the Union has opted for the arty decision here. Now, I like Thane Hood has positioned himself here as possibly a counterattack, but he needs to uh, see what he's going to do. I forgot to feed the neighbor's dog! Gotta make a move. So what's the move going to be? 13 George is going to get wiped out if you don't give him any help. And Thane Hood has ordered the charge here. Or not. I can't. Nope. Looks like a firing line. It's actually very hard to hit an enemy that's running perpendicular to you. You can see that they didn't. You're getting a few down, but not too many. And unfortunately, with those flags here, they're going to get replaced here very quickly. CSA is continuing to move up towards their main objective. Southeast, my bad. Okay. Here comes Gamebot. He's going to charge in to try to delay him here. The key is going to be knocking out these flags here and not letting him get a breachhead. And HL has stayed down there. I do disagree with that. I think they should have came up here and helped. I think A and V could have easily handled that element out there. See that element survives. Six hold Alabama's it, hold it, been knocked out. Hold it, boys. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it here. Hold it. Here. See who that is. Make sure. H hell's down here. I think they should have gone up. A little bit too late now. You see, the Union has achieved its objective. They have cleared the enemy already and gotten a decent amount of tickets out of it. We are now in a pretty secure position. They're coming in northwest. They're hard to break. We should, for the love of God, be going after those guys on the north. Uh, Canada, we pushed up on top of the hill. Wait, is it no bayonets or bayonets? It is bayonets now. Okay, okay. Get on the rocks. Get on the rocks, boys. Get, get me some cover, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, dead. Yeah, get your bayonet on, yeah. Come on. Yeah, Where is the Union already? Did they move up and take the uh, CSA guns? Is that what they did? Don't know where the Union Artie is now. Wow, that what just happened? What? We're going to be up here by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 if you can go let them know that they're coming down. Oh! Yeah, behind us! Behind us! Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the Union already. I don't know if they just abandoned it or what they did. 
Justin, move down the hill, down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Oh my god, I'm Nice interception here by Fifth Corps. In 10th Tennessee. Keep shooting! Flag out of line by the Tennessee Corps. Our demons. Let's go, gentlemen. Our demons. Very close. They're, they're falling back. On the move, Fifth Corps. Irish. Fuck, I didn't even get it on. You see how much uh, 20th Georgia has been, you know, getting the CSA to chase the tail for quite a bit here. Now we got to see what the Union's going to do with this advantage. They knocked out the Artie, so now the question is, now what? Now what are you going to do about it? Well, I would probably fight my way down the hill here. Although you want to clear this out too. You don't want to let them just pop back in here. So it looks like that's what Famas is thinking here. Passez pas devant les canons, passez pas devant les canons, messieurs. On recharge derrière les canons, derrière les canons, les compris. Allez, Yeah, they're sprint masters. Hold, boys, hold. Hold, six out, hold. Hold, six. Y'all some stupid hey, motherfuckers. Hey, calm down. Why don't you just stay in your spawn? Yankees, just stay in your spawn. You can't just even stay. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Keep going, keep going. Y'all can't even fucking shoot. Just stay in your spawn. Alright, form up here, form up here, form here, form here, form here, form here, form here. Form up. Cloud, cloud, devil. Get shots now, get shots. Run, you fucking blue belly. It looks like one of the units from the battery. Holy shit! So that's where the arty went. I live the bitches. Right, hey guys, they have a battery. About face, about face. you got? I'm still kicking, motherfucker. I'm still talking shit. Come on, guys. Oh, fuck you. Come on, guys. Looks like the Union uh, already did this place up here. Yep, here's Krom. I was looking for him. There he is. Ok. Allez, tu couvres le pas trop près, sur le muret, sur la gauche du point. Now, time is starting to get away from the Union again here. I think they're being a little bit too complacent here. And, uh, you know, they're not really pressuring the CSA. Time is soon going to be their enemy. Now, they've seized a lot of good, you know, terrain here, but they haven't really done enough with it. Might uh, just run out of time here. It's tough with that 30-minute rule, but uh, you know we've had 15, you know, 14 minutes without it, and you know there hasn't been too. Much. I mean, there was a good attack on the hill, but you kind of just stalled after it. So, look what happened here. You didn't leave a guard. There was no opposition. You could have left a very small guard up here, like 6LA or 6AL, and you would have prevented that shot from happening. Now you're going back up there. So why why did you guys go down there in the first place? It's friendly, friendly boys. 
No, 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 no. Back off, back off. Up this way, up this way, up this way. Check the Union or he's back at his previous position. Alright boys, yeah, everybody, break your loads, break your loads, rock face, to the south. Break your loads, rock face, break your loads, break it, break it, break it. So, let's get... Let's see, just under 14 minutes, CSA still at engaged. C'est celui où on était, celui qui est à gauche du caillou dans le champ. Fais voir. Un peu à gauche était dessus là. This is. You need this many men on ouais, Nordic Cross? À gauche était dessus. Can't remember we need that many on. I don't know. Remember boys, you're shooting up hill. Give him a little extra. I have Yeah. CSA is now at taking losses at 12.30. Union still at engaged. I'm not going to lie, these, these long distance shootouts are going to benefit the CSA to the detriment of the Union here. It's comfortable to do. We're losing time though. Oh, oh, CSA is getting pretty far out there. Interesting. I was about to get outflanked here. Who is this coming up? Two killers coming up here. Is he going to go swing down or is he going to head for the yardie? Yeah, they're charging towards this killer. I regret my decision. <laughs> line there from the A and B. Elfell's going to displace down a bit here. What do we have down here? It's Canada trying to get on the flank of, who's this, GameBot? No, it's Rolo. Trying to keep an eye and see if I see a charge going on at the top of the hill. Get down, egg, I'll get down. Cover back, get cover. Just save my ass, guys. Oh, 
Get him, boys. Get them all. Let's go, 6 hour. Send him packing, boys. Hold, hold the tree. Hold the tree. Watch your left flank. To the forest, small group east here, guys. East, southeast. Go west into the forest. Uh, north, 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 north. North. Let's go, six west, out. West, very come on, six, Brent. Uh, shift it, shift it a little. Yeah, B corn. They're over there on the six. Yeah, let's go. Alright, alright. Well, you ready? Check on the sea, we're moving! Prepare to move on with B4! Are we ready? Check when ready. We are ready. Yeah. Remember, ready. We need to go before they get up there. Tent MC, we're about to move out. Go, 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 go! Get up that fucking go! 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 Run, 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 hey, run, 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 run. these are our guns. Hey, go away. 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 Go we will not let those damn rebels! I can't fire. predict that third, but... You got this, you got this. We kill them here, we might be able to break them. Shoot. Kill them, boys! Keep shooting! Aim low, aim for their dick! Eat it up, fire! Eat it up! 100 rebel foreskins, boys! I need some more. I need some more. Uh, Alpha. Uh, our entire line gone. That's yeah, our entire line. Artie's dialing us in. We're gonna need to move. We need to get the fuck out of here. Getting their shit in gear. Artie's like, got us already dialed in. Oh, we need to move, brother. No, no, they're starting to pick up on, you know, not miss it. <laughs> to... There's bits I've got eight, eight, eight on flag right Jesus. now. I've got eight on flag. Hey, Phoenix, hey. I hope Kodo saw that, man. Kodo needs to oh, see yeah. that we got that, got that flag. Right I did. I did. I'm very happy with you all. Good job. Hey, child. That was epic. Oh, that was insane, man. Hamptons, pop shots right here. Once you guys get one shot. Hey, Finn, we got Yankees to our south. Behind the rocks. I'm getting yeah, a lot of you know, later, man. Everybody oh, else. We even saw that they were pulling back their flag again. I'll keep watch. Are you independent still? Yeah, you're yep. independent fire. Good shit, man. Let's keep that up. Keep it up, boys. Let's go right ahead. <laughs> Eight times that flag. Yeah, it was insane, man. At, at one point, it just pulled the black flag back Who again to the, the rocks. One? I think the first one was probably the best shot because of how fast he was running down that hill line. All right, Hamptons. Hamptons, head west northwest on me. The, the Looks like is HL is going to pull back a little bit. You can see the Union is now really starting to catch up on tickets here, though. Um. I think a lot of it has actually been this fight up here, to be honest with you, along with some of the already. Shoot them, shoot them, dick high, dick high, dick high. Shoot them, boys, shoot them, you're dropping them. Lift that guy ran up and over, that's a free out of line kill, kill that bastard. Incoming, incoming. Brace, brace left, brace left, brace left. Left, 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 left. Spear wall, spear wall. Hey, I got that rebel, die. Take your nice shield. Oh, hold, hold. You got that rebel! Yeah. Tempted to see just got charged up. Oh, you got that! Oh, that Move it on. Oh, in front of us! Oh, 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 oh. More coming, more coming, more coming, more coming. Up the hill, up the hill. V Core's here. <laughs> God bless the
Good coordination here between these two elements. Really good coordination here by those two elements. Go to point, boys. Northeast, northeast, northeast. Call is now to go to point. I think they're worried about getting knocked onto uh, breaking just as they take it, as the Union is now on point. Fire in charge. Looks like HL was able to have a good firing line there. Was able to do a lot of damage to two core, which wiped them out. So now we got another charge down here against A and V from 10th Tennessee. They're very worried about uh, getting caught out on breaking right now. Oh, here comes fifth core. They're in an excellent position to come up behind the A and V. Oh, 20th came in behind as well. Look at that. So now 20th is going to meet up. There's the breaking. 20th is going to meet up with 5th Corps. We'll see if they can roll this up. Oh, and there's another element down here. Who is this? LFL is still down here. This might be it. Once this big wave comes in, we'll see if this can knock out the CSA. Key is going to be getting down these flags here. I think this will do it. Yep, there goes the flag. And again, it comes down to that really good coordinated attack. Everything kind of collapsing in about the same point. And you saw how effective it was. And the Union should have the final victory here. Here comes the last charge down here. I hope you enjoyed being stopped. I roll, though, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. And that is it. A victory for the Union. A well-timed attack. Um, that was their biggest problem on the Hatches attack, but on this one they got it down a little bit better, even though it was wider terrain. So a good, uh, I, I saw improvement even between these two matches on that team. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a uh, wonderful Sunday. I'm not sure I'm going to stream this week. I might try to get one in, um, but uh, i got to try to catch up and get work done before I go on vacay. And then I should be on for normal Friday. I don't know about Saturday and Sunday yet, but in any event, um, yep, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.